It may not be the last you hear of MC Eastman because X Factor starts tonight. Oh. Fancy, you fancy you go at the X Factor? Um, yeah, bring it with, on, I with say. Your, with your Aussie rap. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it starts tonight. Uh, another set of uh, reality TV hopefuls uh, to become stars of showbiz columns, gossip magazines, perhaps as they carry out their daily lives. It's the stuff of their dreams, isn't it? Uh, this morning's papers have pictures of Jordan on a night out. Uh, they often seem to catch her on the town. Have you ever wondered how the paparazzi keep up with the people they photo? Well, our reporter Corey Allen joined the press pack. Uh, on a tip-off about singer Preston. Uh, so is it all hiding behind the bins waiting for a celebrity p to put the rubbish out? Or is there a little bit more um, planning that goes into it? Um, there is quite a lot of uh, skulking around, waiting around. Uh, the photographer I spent time with told me he's actually spent days camped out just to uh, get the shot that he was after. Uh, and that's quite often after celebrities uh, or their agents have tipped off photographers that they're going to be uh, shopping or out to eat or in that place at that time. So, yeah, as I find out, there is quite a lot of skulking around. My name is Matt Sprake and I'm a photographer with Newspeak. Now you've been waiting outside this jeweller's in the centre of Brighton for how long this morning? Uh, five and a half hours now. Nine o'clock this morning I arrived. Is that normal? Uh, can be, can be longer. Yeah, it depends who it is. Now you're here today because you got a tip-off. Where do you get these tip-offs from? People just ring them in. They could come from anywhere. It could come from a friend, could come from the shop that the guy's going to go into. It could come from anywhere, literally, absolutely anywhere. It could come from their agent even. And you've got to get there and react. Sometimes they don't even turn up. So sometimes it ends up being an absolute load of rubbish and a waste of a day. What about the PR machine? Is it all part of that? You know, do you get a tip-off of so-and-so like we're here outside of Jewelers today? You know, they'll be here. And it gets them in the pages, doesn't it? It gets them in the magazines. Absolutely. It's, it's all a game. It's absolutely all a game. It's all a charade, all of it, really. Um, you know, we're as important to them as they are to us. It's Preston, uh, who used to be in The Ordinary Boys, and uh, we was just looking around. He spotted the photographer. He's coming to this jewellery shop, it looks like, to, uh, to pick up a bracelet or a necklace. Preston, is it just for you, the necklace? Yeah. Is this your new girlfriend? Up two years, up two years. <laughs> so, yeah. Can we get a nice shop before we go to the road? Do you want to come down to the Christmas Christmas right. And you've got a record coming out. Just sort of getting some lunch and that. Nothing very interesting. Is this normal for you, though, to be have uh, somebody like Matt following you around? Yeah, I don't know, sometimes, yeah. Just uh, every now and again. I don't know, it's all good fun. And how about you? Do you mind being his girlfriend, having to put up with... Do you mind being my I girlfriend? I don't mind being his girlfriend. No. no, but being followed by the paparazzi, that sort of thing. I mean, it's a little weird, but... um. It's kind of funny, I guess. I don't know, it's awkward more than anything. You have to be very quick on your feet, don't you? It's a nightmare, yeah. I fall over a lot in this job. For you, are the best shots when it's just them or when there's anybody else in the shops? Obviously, we're on a street now. Yeah, just a nice clean, nice clean shot. Looking happy, nice and close together, really. I might get a picture today, like I've just got, but he might go out tonight. That, that completely kills my set. And that happens all the time. That set of pictures right now is news. And it just changes all the time. And um, is there a lot of money involved in, in all the stuff that you were seeing there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it all boils down to money and press coverage, basically. The star or the celebrity, uh, as I said, will tip off a photographer or their agent will or somebody involved in their business uh, and that they'll be going shopping or looking in a jeweler's window uh, like yesterday or on the beach at a certain time. And quite often, Matt was saying, the money from that photo will be split between the celebrity and the photographer. So the accidental photos of stars out shopping or whatever are often set up. Uh, and if you've ever wondered, you know, how they earn a living, how certain stars yes. uh, keep themselves in luxury cars uh, this you know for seemingly not doing a lot well this is one of their main earners I once tipped off um, a paparazzi about I went to book a Valentine's Day meal and as I was doing it I noticed uh, the booking above mine was Douglas Zeta Jones no yeah wow. and I tipped them off and this is before my BBC days I would like to add and so I arrived with my girlfriend for the Valentine's Day meal and I saw a guy in a sort of trench coat with a camera on the corner of the street and I sat there all meal <laughs> Douglas, Douglas and Zia Jones never turned up and I ruined that poor guy's Valentine's